Welcome to my home. This is Home with Shannon. I am starting this series because I want to provide some tips and tricks and helpful information from my world that could possibly help you and your daily life. At any given time, you may see children running across the screen or various toys flying across the room, but guess what? That's my life. Now today I wanted to talk about working out in a family setting because sometimes it's very challenging to manage schedules and timing and space in order to get your workout in. So my first suggestion is try, try. Look around your home, create a space that you can do a simple workout. It may not be as extensive as going to the gym, but you could do some stretches, some push-ups, planks. There are a lot of things. You can even lift weights at home. <clears throat> so find that space. Even if you're challenged in a small space, you can make it happen. All right, so that's my number one suggestion is try. Now, if your challenge is time, then I suggest you really look at your day and see when is the best opportunity for you to have some alone time. So if you are an early riser like me, because I wake up around five or six most days, everyone else in the house is asleep. So I'll just go to my spot that I created and I'll do some stretches, a little yoga, a little Pilates, some weights, you know, whatever I'm feeling that day, I'll get it in while everyone is asleep so that I don't have to worry about being interrupted. My husband, on the other hand, he likes to stay up late. So he will do his workout at 11 p.m. or even close to midnight, and I'm just like done. I'm like toast by then, but he has the energy to get it done at that time. So if you have the challenge of time, space, family, or whatever, then you can still find a way to make it happen. And I know there are a lot of sports theories about when is the best time to exercise, but you know what? When you're challenged, it's better to get it done when you can than not to do it at all, right? <clears throat> all right, good. So my next suggestion is if you just don't want to work out at home, because some people are like, look, I need a change of scenery, I need to get out of this place, and you have children, and you really feel stressed about getting to the gym and doing something that your children will enjoy as well. Well, my suggestion is number one, find a playground or a park where your children can play and you can work out at the same time. We have a park nearby where the kids can play and it's um, encircled. Is that a word, encircled? <laughs> There's a circle around the playground where you can still see your kids within close range and you can walk right around the playground. It's awesome. So very often when we take them to the park, my husband and I would just walk the circle and the kids are playing. And there's even a larger circle. So if you want to take your kids with you and y'all all walk the bigger circle, then you could do that as well. And there's benches where you can do um, arm exercises and planks. Hi, Zig. Be careful. <laughs> I told you. Um, so find a kid-friendly playground. You want to sit up here? To go to. And my next suggestion, if you're able to spend some money, bless you, find a kid-friendly gym that has a play place, a play area, where if you say, let's go to the Y, or to One Life, or you know, whatever the, the gym name, and I'm not trying to support any gym, those just came to mind, because we go to all gyms, um, your kids will be like, yay, let's go. So not only is it a workout for you, but it's a workout for them. <clears throat> and I love that, because you're setting the example for your kids that mommy or daddy is about to work out, and you're going to go and have a good time as well. And they can go and learn good things about being active, meet some new friends, and you have that time to get your body right, get your mind right, relax. Even if you go and read a book just for mental health and sanity, I think that's worth it. 
And there are a lot of gyms, if you can't afford the full price and you talk to them, they have scholarship opportunities or financial aid and stuff like that. <clears throat> so it's worth looking into. This is Shannon at home. Those are my tips for today about getting your workout in a family setting. I will continue to post these videos. In the meantime, please visit my website at www.shannonstakes.com. That's S-H-A-N-N-O-N-S-T-A-K-E-S.com for more information about what I do as a fitness instructor and certified nutritionist. I hope you have a wonderful day. Be well. I'll see you later. Can you say hi?